Well, good morning. Today I'm coming to you from one of the most beautiful parts of the country. This is Mackinac Island, where Lake Huron and Lake Michigan meet. So kind of where the lower peninsula of Michigan and the upper peninsula cross. Uh, I'm here on this, this island, like I said, and it's an amazing place. If you're interested in history, good food, friendly people, uh, just an amazing quaint sort of village feel, lots of really good shopping, some of the best fudge in America, this is the place for you. Now, there is one thing you have to give up when you come to the island, and that is that on the island, nobody uses a car. Cars are basically prohibited. You can see right behind me, here comes a bicyclist. Walking their dog will get out of their way. And if you notice, way up there, you start to see one of the first horse-drawn carriages. That's, there's really basically three ways to get around the island. You can walk, you can ride a bike, or you can take one of the many horse-drawn options. And that sounds great. As a runner, I love it because I don't have to worry about getting run off the road by a car. I don't have to worry about inhaling any exhaust fumes, at least from a car like I'm used to. But what you do have to watch out for here, and the trade-off you make, well, other than the flies, is that the horses poop wherever they feel like it. There's poop all over the streets. The horses themselves don't smell the greatest. That's one of the side effects, one of the trade-offs that you make when you give up modes of transportation and the horses are kind of slow. I typically run right past them and if you want to haul anything using a bike is a terrible option. You really want to use one of the horse uh, horse options to haul things around the island. So the economics here is that whenever you are thinking about getting rid of one convenience like a car you may have to get rid of you may have to deal with something else like the tail end of a horse or getting around more slowly. So before the flies utterly wreck me here, I'm going to get back on the road. See you out there. Make sure you get out and run. And uh, I'll see you next time.